What's going on YouTube? It has been a long time since I posted a video. Um, the weather out here has been insane and to be honest I just haven't been catching fish. Um, I've been somewhat of a slump but the weather's picking up. The spawn is right around the corner. We got a bunch of pre-spawn bass around California so the fishing should pick up and the video should start coming again. So this weekend uh, I am actually heading to Lake Shasta for the Shasta Kayak Bass Classic. But uh, I'm pretty excited. Um, me and my buddy Wes, we're heading up tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, so we're gonna have two days of pre-fishing, and then Saturday and Sunday is a tournament. Um, I'm actually pretty excited. I've never actually fished a two-day tournament or actually traveled to a tournament. I've done a few kayak tournaments last year. Um, so right now, you can see behind me, I'm getting everything ready, cleaning the kayak, tying everything up that I think I'm going to be throwing, and um, yeah, just kind of getting organized, getting ready for the tournament. Um, enough rambling. I got a lot of work to do because, quite frankly, I haven't organized, I mean, in a, too long. It's completely trashed. All of my tackle is mixed up. I don't know what's what or what I have, but, um, but that box right there, right there, uh, holds the secrets because my brother Jason Barofka and his wife Tara actually did a team tournament up there in Shasta not that long ago and they got ninth place I believe out of like 180 boats so I got the juice so I got a chance guys so um, anyways I'm gonna keep going I'll tell you guys more about the tournament as the day goes along um, it's actually gonna be it's gonna be a good time. Um, I'm excited, but I'm starting to ramble now, so I'm gonna get back to work, and uh, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, thank mm -hmm. you, man. Good one, good one. Sweet. So, got some rain gear here because I found out two days ago that it's gonna be raining on Friday and Saturday at the tournament, so thank God for Amazon Prime, otherwise I would've been wet the entire tournament. Um, I'll show you guys later what I got. I got something mid-level, and Hopefully they'll keep me dry, but I'll show you guys later. So that's cool. Yeah. So I had to move all my gear in real quick before it stopped, before it all got soaked, but yeah. now I have a whole lot less space to get ready in because our garage is a mess. So, whatever. Well, since it started pouring outside, I, uh, well actually the sun's kind of out now. It poured for like 20 minutes. But I'm just about done uh, tying up and organizing, get everything ready for Wes to pick me up in the morning. But I took a sec to try on my new rain gear. And I got the Frog Tog Pro Guide bibs and I got the Frog Tog Fire Belly jacket. And uh, it actually feels nice for like a whole set under $200. Um, I, we'll see if I stay dry. But anyways, I gotta run to Fisherman's Warehouse in Manteca to grab a few more things uh, to finish getting ready and then probably hit dinner with the wife and be ready to leave early, early, early in the morning. All right, so we're leaving Fisherman's Warehouse right now, and as always, shh, car, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and as always, you leave the tackle shop with more than you thought you were gonna buy. So they were having a deal on these P-Line tactical floor cover, and I haven't tried it yet, but I've been wanting to buy. I actually have a spool that's been on back order from Tackle Warehouse for a while. So Fisherman's Warehouse hooked me up. Anyways. Help me. Thank you. You're welcome. For a penny. Yeah, I know. I'll tell them. They had it on sale for buy one, get one for a penny. So I bought four spools. That's a deal, guys. That's crazy. All right, guys. So I think I am actually all ready to go tomorrow. Um, everything's rigged up, tied up. I got all my tackle in the kayak, in my crate, clothes, camera gear, batteries, chargers. All that good stuff is ready to go. Now it's time to sleep and wake up. Feeling focused and ready. So we'll see you guys in the morning.
Well, That's all right. can't check in yet, but got the parking pass. Time to get some fishing done. Get on the water. All right, guys, we're here. We're unloaded. Got my kayak in the water. Got Wes's kayak back there. We're ready to start pre-fishing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this a um, like a two-part video, um, like with part one being pre-fishing and the travel, and part two being the tournament. We'll see how how it goes, how the weekend goes, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's time to get on the water. Hopefully, we'll start catching some fish. So let's go. Time to find them with the drop shot. Dude, already, dude. First cast of the drop shot, guys. Nah. Well, guys, that is a good sign right there. That is a good sign. All right, man. <clears throat> Me and Wes did a little paddle and first cast of the drop shot. I got a decent spot, but so looks like we might figure something out. That's, I mean, that's really early, so that's a good sign. Let's let this guy go. Woo! I'm gonna throw a shaky head around there. Wes got himself a little something, something. God, this is cold. We call that a Lake Shasta ghost fish. <laughs> Dude, they're pale, man. Yeah, every single one is just freezing cold and pale. All right, guys. Been fishing for a few hours. Me and Wes have each caught one. Um, decent ones, nothing, they weren't tiny, they weren't, you know, definitely weren't kicker fish or anything, but we would, I would definitely take those on uh, Saturday and Sunday. But uh, yeah, right now, stopped off this little island, took a little bathroom break, but now it's back to fishing, back to figuring this lake out, back to covering some water. So, time to put a new battery in the GoPro, switch over to that, and do our thing. Man, I gotta tell you, this is the first time of being up to this lake, and it is gorgeous, man. It's just beautiful around here, look at this. Got this bridge above me. Crazy. That was a tough day out there, man. We caught a few. We think we have an idea. We're figuring them out. We're hoping we figure them out. Wes got a few bites on uh, a black and blue jig. The water's really murked up. It was a, it was a brown, and, brown and orange jig with a blue zoom chunk. So we're it's changing it up, doing some weird stuff. <laughs> when the fish are feeling weird, you gotta do weird stuff. Mother. Anyways, time to load this up and get some food. And hopefully tomorrow the weather will cooperate. We got a little tip saying that it's supposed to be gusting winds, and we already know it's supposed to be raining, which is why I got these sweet bibs. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow will work out. Hopefully we get a chance to do a little more pre-fishing tomorrow. But at least we got in today because a lot of people aren't gonna get, uh, get any in, so. Anyways guys, it's time to just chill out the rest of the night. Import footage from the day, blah, blah, blah. Wake up tomorrow. Let's hope it's not that bad, man. Yeah, we might end up watching a movie, hitting the tackle shot for a few hours just to sh talk about what's, I don't know, man. We'll see what's going on tomorrow, but 
whatever I'm doing, I'll be taking you guys along. I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed. So good night, guys. Well, as you can tell, we did not make it out this morning. Oh man, the weather's garbage. So, we're just gonna find something to do around town today. Hit up Phil's Propeller Shop. It's a, apparently it's a pretty cool tackle shop around here. So we can pick up a few things for tomorrow. We got a bunch of buddies coming up from Yakabass that will be here this afternoon slash tonight. So, even though we're not in on the water, Today should be a good day, so <clears throat> Wes is getting ready. I'm ready to go. So let's get the day started. Had some fun at Dick's. Now we're going to go to Phil's Propeller Shop. This place is insane, guys. It's the tiniest little shop, but they're just packed with everything you think of. Got me a little bag of goodies. I don't know if it's gonna help or not, but you can't come here without buying anything, so pick me up some stuff. Wes and I are now leaving the hotel to go to the captain's meeting over at Headwaters. We're gonna so finally get it, all the information finalized for the tournament, so we can know, launch, all the details, everything's gonna be going over. They're feeding us dinner, so we're gonna get down there, let's roll. The first place winner of this tournament, he gets his choice or she gets her choice. A trip to the Hobie Worlds Qualifier with transportation paid. Alright, so captain meeting's over. You guys saw a little bit of that. Now we're just kind of hanging out in the Headwaters Adventure Shop. Wes has had a little trouble with the app for the tournament, so he's got to figure that out before the morning. But uh, yeah, soon we're going to go back to the hotel, rig up all the stuff that we got that we think we're going to use tomorrow. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video this last few days. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here and I will make another video, part two, for the actual tournament. So, it was an eventful couple of days. We thought we were gonna get two days of pre-fishing, we only got one, so thank goodness we come. We came a day early. And yeah, I'm gonna close the video out here. If you guys like it, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for the next video for the tournament to see if I pulled something incredible off, or not. It'll be fun either way. See you guys later.